And now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome to this YouTube edition of Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service on this Friday, February 2nd, 2024, Groundhog Day. And if you ever want additional information on top of what I provide in this YouTube video, you can go to weather.gov. That is National Weather Service's online presence. It brings you to a map of the continental U.S., Hawaii, Alaska, lower left. And on the map this Friday afternoon, we have systems uh, now crossing through the Rockies, producing winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, even some severe weather out here in Texas, severe thunderstorms, isolated threaded tornadoes, and a second atmospheric river system coming into California, numerous, uh, we have flood watches and the anticipation of heavy rainfall potential warnings as much as six, seven inches of rain could fall, fall in the LA area. We have winter storm warnings for the Sierra Nevada mountains. So active weather pattern there. And here in Alaska, we still have some active weather to report. Uh, we've certainly been in a prolonged period of uh, extreme cold, especially across the interior, but temperatures are gonna begin to slowly warm this weekend into next week. It'll be a gradual process, but as the warmer air moves in from southwest to northeast, it's first gonna impact the southwest coast, Alaska Peninsula, and then across areas of the southern mainland and Gulf Coast, we expect snow. When that warmer air comes up over, overruns the colder air near the surface, it's a Great ingredient to cause uh, snowfall and areas of the southwest from the lower Yukon, Kuskokwim uh, areas down through Bristol Bay as well as into south central, maybe all the way up north into uh, Anchorage area. And then eastward toward uh, the northeastern Gulf around uh, Yakutat could see accumulating snows here uh, starting uh, areas later tonight, continuing through this weekend. And it's all part of a, a pattern shift whereby we're going to start to see a more progressive parade of Pacific lows tracking back up into the Bering Sea and into the Gulf that's already started across the Bering and it's now going to spread into the Gulf this weekend and then on and off we'll see these lows impacting us here as we head uh, through uh, mid-month. The overall February though uh, temperature and precipitation outlook just came in and I'll show you that uh, in a moment but it is looking like above normal temperatures will return to much of the state uh, for February compared to this cold spell we had here during the second half of January. Now looking at a few of the FAA webcams from this afternoon, Fort Yukon mostly clear temperature at 38 degrees. Fort Yukon was down to 56 below zero this morning. Co-op site at Chicken was down to 58 below. A number of locations, including Tan and I, have been in the mid 50s below zero the past uh, few nights. Uh, but conditions are going to be slow to improve there. The cold air will hang longest uh, along the eastern interior and along the Elkan border as we go into later Sunday, early next week. Kitnick along the southwest coast, approaching storm temperature two below. You're going to have snow developing, blowing snow. Uh, some sort of winter weather advisory or warning will be in effect for later tonight, especially uh, Saturday. And that same system and push of warmer air is going to move eastward along uh, areas of south central and the Gulf Coast, Kenai. Right now, clear and cold, four below, but Kenai area could see snow developing Saturday afternoon and evening, continuing into the pre-dawn of Sunday morning with several inches of snow possible. And that same system that as that warmer air uh, works its way eastward, the snow increases and works its way eastward also around Yakutat, the northeastern Gulf into the area around Glacier Bay National Park could pick up several inches of snow later Saturday night and through late Sunday night. But there in Yakutat, some sunshine looking to the southwest with 19 degrees. Another really impressive stat I want to pass along, record snowfall event for Juneau. Juneau got pounded by snowstorms in January. 76.8 inches of snow in just one month. That is a record January snowfall for Juneau. That breaks the old record of 75.2 inches set back in 2009. And it's also the second highest snowfall for any month on record. The only month they've had more snow in Juneau is February of 1965 with 86.3 inches. And a quick check here to check in how much snow has Anchorage have, had at Ted Stevens International Airport. This season so far through February 2nd, 105.1 inches. That's like 55 inches above normal. In a typical winter season, 30-year average is 
just shy of 78 inches, so way ahead across the Anchorage area. A lot of snow. We've had been some problems with some commercial roof collapses from all that snowfall because it's been really cold. And a few nights in a row with record low temperatures in the teens below zero in Anchorage. So uh, things are going to be improving, but some more snow is on the way uh, in the Anchorage area, especially Saturday night and early Sunday morning. So the latest temperature outlook for the month of February uh, provided by the Climate Prediction Center of the National Weather Service indicates above normal temperatures for the state of Alaska with the greatest likelihood across the southern mainland, along south of the Alaska range, and especially uh, through the Panhandle and back toward uh, areas of the uh, lower Alaska Peninsula into the eastern Aleutians. And then on top of that, we expect precipitation to still average above normal over south central areas around Cook Inlet, Prince William Sound, this is an area that's already been hit pretty hard with above normal snowfall this winter. So we'll see if Anchorage can work toward its all time snowfall record of like 134 and a half inches. It's less than 30 inches to go to reach that. And we still have a good couple months left of winter, uh, potential heavier snowfall in the winter. And then you can even include April into that because there've been some pretty big snowstorms in April as well. Rest of the state near normal precipitation expected. Uh, central, uh, upper, mid uh, mainland, and then areas of the panhandle back out toward the Aleutians. So taking a look at some of the latest advisories, warnings, watches, we have a number of wind chill, winter weather advisories that remain in effect into at least Saturday morning, some cases a little longer into Sunday. For Arctic Coast, Kaktovik, down through Anatuvik, Attigan Passes, areas around south of Fairbanks, east toward 40 mile gold country along uh, the Alaska Range. Back out here, west central areas, uh, Shagnuk and uh, north of McGrath, we expect uh, wind chill warnings. Wind chill advisories, western, northern parts of the, of the um, Seward Peninsula. This area here, this winter storm watch will likely be upgraded to some sort of winter advisory or warning for accumulating snow and blowing snow, not only for Bethel down toward uh, Kipnik, but also down along the Bristol Bay coast into Dillingham up toward Lake Iliamna. This region here will be added to some sort of winter weather advisory or warning for later tonight and Saturday for several inches of snow and blowing snow. And then there's the potential uh, for advisory type snow, western Kenai, even up to the Anchorage Bowl. So stay tuned to later forecast because some accumulating snow is heading this way for later Saturday into Sunday morning. And then this area here along the northeastern Gulf Coast, a winter storm watch for late Saturday night into uh, Sunday night for several inches of snow as this warmer air works its way northeastward from the Bering and uh, North Pacific and works its way eastward across the Gulf. Uh, still some winter weather advisories lingering down toward Juneau, but not much more in the way of precipitation expected there. So looking at the satellite imagery, we still have a lot of clear skies. High pressure still centered here over the east central interior. That high is going to shift a little further east this weekend so that by Sunday into early Monday, it'll be over the Yukon. And then what's going to happen is this, we got a series of lows out here in uh, the Bering and lifting out of the North Pacific. Already one front's come toward the southwest coast, washing out, and then another one. When all of this moisture works its way here in along the southwest coast, it's going to overrun the colder air at the surface perfect ingredient for a steadier light to moderate snow. So that snow will easily add up to several inches with gusty winds blowing snow. That's why uh, warnings and advisories will be in effect for this area and could expand up Cook Inlet, Western Kenai, maybe all the way to the Anchorage Bowl uh, for Saturday night into Sunday morning. And looking at the weather map, we have um, kind of one trough sitting just off the southwest coast into the Gulf. Here comes the next main weather maker. That system's working northeastward. That's what's going to cause the snow to really spread into the southwest coast later tonight and on Saturday. And then there's another low back behind that that's also going to work its way eastward with impulses of energy. We have the one weaker low sitting out across the central gulf. And by Saturday afternoon, here comes that front pushing up into uh, the southwest coast again. Uh, getting that band of snow, accumulating snow along with gusty winds that could result in blowing snow. And by the time we get into Sunday, that system pushes farther inland. So we do expect a period of snow into south central as a result. Um, and 
further west, here's another system that could bring some additional snowfall Monday, early Tuesday into parts of south central. So this pattern is shifting out instead of the really cold air hanging in across the interior back into the southwest with most of the action in the Gulf and Panhandle. It's kind of coming from southwest to northeast, and that's likely going to be the case now for at least the next 10 days or so, maybe a little longer. Lows tonight will be cold, below freezing across the panhandle, at or a bit below zero there in the northern panhandle, Skagway, and certainly toward the Canadian border. 45 below up there, Copper River Basin, very cold. Same thing back toward uh, McGrath, other side of the Alaska Range. Bitter cold temperatures. Talkeetna was like 39 below zero this morning, and the morning before, 24 below. Might be a little still underdone. And uh, still a really cold night coming up, though maybe not quite as severe as the past couple. And then temperatures could squeak out of 40, 41, sit cut down toward Craig on Saturday, but below freezing, struggling to hit 20 in Skagway. Well below zero, Copper River Basin, and again back toward McGrath. But notice temperatures here, 37, Kodiak. Lows Sunday morning, cloud cover overspreading this region with areas of light to even moderate snow. So above zero in Anchorage, not quite is sharply cold in the Copper River Basin. Temperatures, outer panhandle stay above freezing, and then temperatures Sunday afternoon start to moderate into the teens in the Anchorage Bowl. And we expect temperatures even to moderate there in the Copper River Basin, not quite as cold below zero. And then getting back up above freezing along the central southern panhandle, still below freezing there north of Juneau. And here's looking at the cold temperatures. A number of uh, low temperatures Saturday morning will be at least in the mid, the coldest spots could be still down around 55, 58 below in this region here, but very cold. And as we go into Saturday afternoon, we still expect 20s and 30s below across the central eastern interior. But Sunday morning, not quite as cold back toward the south and west still, again, could be 50 or so below zero there in the Yukon Flats. Eagle down toward Northway could be quite cold as well. But you can see the gradual theme and the moderation in the temperatures here across the interior starting to take place later this weekend. Coming up uh, areas uh, to the west, uh, we're gonna see the colder air get pushed out of the lower Yukon and Kuskokwim River basins. Saturday morning lows still 45 below up there at McGrath. Coastal areas near zero above freezing out along the eastern Aleutians. Saturday afternoon, could see some 40 degree readings creeping further northeastward up along the Alaska Peninsula. Temperatures pushing up to near 20 along Kuskokwim, Bristol Bays, and then not as cold with you know the, the cloud cover and any patchy lingering uh, areas of light snow. And temperatures for Sunday, getting back up now, look at 30 there at Dillingham, 33 at King Salmon, 40, low 40s back toward uh, Dutch Harbor. So here is the temperature outlook coming up next six to 10 days as we're beginning to approach mid-month, February 8th through the 12th. Temperatures are expected to average a bit above normal from Cook Inlet, Prince William Sound, northward across the Alaska Range, creeping north of Fairbanks, all the way up uh, into the Eastern Brooks Range, North Slope with near normal temperatures across the north, Western mainland, the Southwest Alaska Peninsula, and the Southeast Panhandle. Precipitation though is expected to average above normal, most likely areas around, say the lower Alaska range around Cook Inlet, including Anchorage on over toward Yakutat and the Panhandle. This certainly could mean some additional snowfall uh, for areas of South Central that have already had a lot of snow this winter uh, season. So we're not over yet with the snowfall, but at least it will not be quite as cold as it has been.